The topic of this video is rewriting absolute value inequalities using a number line. All right, so let's solve these five problems. First, absolute value star is less than three. Remember, absolute value of star is kind of like distance from zero. So we're saying that the distance from zero is less than three. That's like a dog on a leash. So the dog can go three steps to the right or three steps to the left, but not any further away than that. And because the symbol says less than, as opposed to less than or equal to, we use parentheses when we create our shading. Now, this is a between type inequality, which means that star has to be in between negative three and positive three. And we've learned by studying these kinds of inequalities that the symbol in the middle always has to be less than or less than or equal to. And because we have parentheses in both places, both of these will be less than. Okay, next problem. The absolute value of star is greater than or equal to five. This is like saying that the distance has to be g -g -g greater than five. It's like you're being guarded. So imagine the celebrity is at zero and the bodyguards are all around. So you have to be five steps or more from that celebrity. You can be over here. You can be over here. But you can't get close to the celebrity because the celebrity is guarded. Okay. So that means there are two different places you can be, so there's going to be two inequalities. Right of 5, so star is greater than 5, greater than, or greater than or equal to because of the bracket, or left of negative 5. So star is less than or equal to negative 5. Okay, next. Absolute value of star is less than or equal to 7. So this is like a dog on a 7-foot leash. The only difference between this problem and this one up here is that the one up here said less than, and this one says less than or equal to. The numbers are also different, of course. So that means that we're going to create a graph that looks like this. A bracket at seven, a bracket at negative seven, and a dog on a leash has to stay in between these two spots. What would the inequality look like? Star has to be in between negative seven and seven. And this is the kind of symbol that has to go in both places. But because it's brackets this time, both of those are going to be written as less than or equal. Okay, next one. Distance greater than 9. That's like being guarded. Greater than. Guarded. So you can't get too close to 0 because 0 is guarded. You can be over here. You can be over here. But you can't be near 0 because 0 is guarded. So this part of the inequality star is greater than 9, because we are to the right of 9. This part, less than negative 9, because we are to the left of negative 9. So these are our two inequalities. Okay, the last one was the tricky one. Distance less than a negative. Well, if the distance is less than a negative, then that means it's negative, and a distance cannot be negative. So this has no solution. There is nothing to graph on the number line, and there is no inequality. Now, I know I've spent a lot of time on this topic, but this is an extremely important skill that you're going to need when we get to the final piece of this learning objective, when we are solving absolute value inequalities. Make sure you are confident in your ability to take an inequality involving the absolute value of star and be able to write it as an inequality involving star.